Okay, so today we are going to do art criticism. So that means that we are going to talk and discuss different artwork that you've completed throughout your class. Now this is just an example a student made. It might not be the assignment that you're doing, but I'm going to show you how to do the art criticism. So first things first, you have this paper and there's some space on the top to take notes if you're looking at somebody else's artwork or if you're done with your artwork, this is what we're going to write about our own artwork. So quickly, it says to describe. When we describe it, we just use the basics. So what do you see? I see two boys, or I see some um, blue hair, or I see a baseball cap. So that's what you're going to do, the basics. I see two boys. All right, analyze. This is where you're going to say the artist used. That's your art words. So any of the elements or principles of art that were used in this artwork, you can say the artist used. So right here around the outside, the artist used pattern. That's an easy one. What about lines there's lots of nice lines in there pattern lines i see some shapes some circles and some shapes what about good craftsmanship this is definitely nice neat craftsmanship from this student they colored in all the spaces they took their time so good craftsmanship Good level four. That's level four craftsmanship. Okay, that's enough. You can go on to the next one. So, the interpret. This is interpret. What do you think the artwork is about? So, for example, I think that the art, why did the artist draw it, or what do you think it's trying to tell you? So, I think that. These two boys are really sleepy and just waking up. Now, why do I think that? Or why is that in my interpretation? Um, I think that because he's rubbing his eyes and he's kind of stretching and he's holding a pillow. So that's what I think. You could think something completely different. You could think, oh, I think he's sad because maybe this friend isn't playing with them. It's up to you, whatever your interpretation of the artwork is. And like I said, your artwork might vary. So Perhaps if you're working on like a landscape, you might say, I think that the artwork, the artist wanted us to feel relaxed because they use calm colors. Or if you're doing an architecture, I think the artist made a blueprint so that we could see a design of the room that they imagined. So you're just going to write your interpretation there, but I'm going to say, I think they're sleepy. Because. Hello, and stretching. And then the last is judge. You're going to judge your artwork. Do you like it or dislike it and because why? Now, this isn't mine, but I like this artwork a lot. I like it because I like the anime style. I like the outlining. I like the colors that they use. They use complementary colors in the hat and the hair. I like that they finished a nice border around it. So there's a lot of stuff I like about that. So you're just going to fill in that down there, why you like or just like it. Maybe, maybe I don't like it because uh, I just want there to be like a background. Who knows? Um, after you finish your art criticism, make sure your name's on it. And then you can get your rubric sticker, stick it on the back of your art project, and then you're going to grade yourself. Remember, we were pretty good. The objective is what you were supposed to do. The craftsmanship, you have your rubrics at your table. So how well was it colored? Creativity is yours unique. Um, I think they kind of took some ideas from a book. So I'm going to put it like a three for creativity. Participation. Four is always quiet and eyes on me, listening to the videos and raising your hand. Three would be usually quiet and eyes on me, raising your hand. Two is sometimes. And one is eh, not really. So remember, for participation, it depends on how quiet. I'm going to put a three for this student. And then your behavior. 
Were you safely using your tools and materials and following directions, clicking your markers closed and staying in your spots? So all of that, turn them in together, and that is it for our critique day.